very honored to be sharing with everybody. And today our guest is Shintessa Shen, and she's here to talk about many projects that she's had and uh, that she's currently doing. So welcome, Shintessa. Welcome to the show. Thanks. I love being here as usual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're here to talk about Paint the States? I am. I'm really excited about the, the project I'm working on. Um, currently, I have about 50 paintings. I have a couple that I'm working on and I'm changing up a little bit, but they have been hanging around my house or packed away in storage for gallery shows. And it's just, there's some of them I've had for a while. and. I'm just ready to give them the new homes, and I thought it would be an amazing idea to not just try to sell them to people, but get one in every single state so that there's a little piece of me everywhere I go, and I'm just really excited to get that project kicked off. And so you do have a few states that you currently have um, at the moment? Yes. Um, I need to grab my list. I need to grab it. I know I have Ohio taken care of and West Virginia. New York, Washington, I believe Oregon is now covered, as well as Virginia and Alabama. But I need a lot of like the the lower the lower south and just the west coast, so that would be awesome. I can help yeah. with Texas. What was that, Ashton? I can help with Texas. There we go. We got Texas. All right. <laughs> so... Let's talk a little bit about what inspired this project to occur. Why do you want to get a painting in each state? Well, I think it's really important for artists that are really just starting to try to get their name out there. And I wanted to just spread out as much as possible. And to be able to get a painting in every state, then literally anywhere I go when I cross the country or just travel in general, I'd be able to say, oh, I have a piece of art there. And at first, I was just going to start dropping paintings off, but I kind of, I'm kind of excited to see where they end up. And by not necessarily charging people and just looking for donations, then it gives everybody a chance that wants one, a chance to receive a piece of art. And just if they don't want it, then they can trade it with somebody, or it can find a new home. But that's putting the energy out there so that the piece finds its true owner, and it just has a chance to flow with the energy and create a beacon of art wherever it goes. Um, I'm just I'm excited that it's going to be like almost like a connect the dots thing too because I'm keeping a map so I can mark off where the where in the state the projects are going. Hmm. And see, so you do have a Kickstarter that you have started. Um, it's actually an Indiegogo and the link bad. is on my website <laughs> so if you're interested in donating towards it it's basically just covering shipping um, doesn't really go towards the materials because it's going to mostly just cover shipping costs. And um, I just want people to keep in mind that artists, especially a lot of them, were done when I was going through art school. And art school, not only do you pay for the schooling, but you're you have to pay for all your materials and just all your promotion and a chance to make a portfolio and everything. It costs a lot of money, and to be able to just put my heart out there and want to practically give it away. Just the shipping coverage helps so much towards getting my name out there. Mm -hmm. And your name is? Shannon or Shantastic Shannon. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, I don't believe we did get to ask you this question, um, the first podcast that we had with you, but uh, I would like to ask with you now, who are you, where do you come from, and what's your purpose here on Earth? Um, well, I... My name, like I said, is Shannon, and I go by Shantastic Shine, which was a, a nickname kind of given to me by a lot of friends and soul family. And it was just Shantastic for a while, and it kind of sounded a little silly, and it still kind of does to some people, but the shine part came because I just, I really liked making things glow and light up, and not really a fan of the darkness. So being able to shine things up for people really brightened my day as well. Um, my purpose, I think, is to... To motivate others, is, as well as myself, to just really go for your dreams rather than talk about them. And when people tell me, oh, I want to do something, um, I try to be one of the first people to be like, yeah, do it. Why, why are you just talking about it? Because motivation is key, and having someone that backs up 
your dreams, even if they're silly to someone else, is important to everybody. And that's something I look for in friends and loved ones. Mm -hmm. And so you do you do, do a lot of paintings. Is there excuse me, any of that um, that you had that you wanted to share? Um, I can screen share your 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 profile or any of your pictures if you had any ones that you want me to do that for. Let's see. I did just upload some pictures. Well, you could play this slight intro from Indiegogo, or I can play it. It's got a short video of the scanning of a lot of the paintings I have. I can screen share it with it. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Um, so she's going to screen share her video for the, um, you said Indiegogo? Yes, it's okay. got my video for the project that I created, and it just got some general pictures of the work I did. I have it muted so we won't have audio, but we will have a video. And those are just some of the paintings that I, I generally created throughout um, high school and college. And when I first started my Shantastic Shine Creations Collective, um, I did some of them live. A lot of them um, that I did live was live at Sunshine Daydream. And some of them are multi-pieces. Now, as you can see, they're just all different sizes, and some of them are more than just paint. There's some wax art in there and some spray paint art and just all different kinds of just techniques that I really and there's wanted space. to share. <laughs> yeah, if you listen to the whole video, I give another description of pretty much what I was doing with the project and how I want to share it. And let's see here if I can get a little bit more video of the artwork. Yeah. Um, and this is a project that I've actually already started. The Indiegogo is in effect, and you can donate to it as little as a dollar, and that will help ship some of the smaller ones. And if you don't want a painting or you just don't have a way to carry it, because I know a lot of people are travelers, I can ship the painting to somebody else in, in your honor, or I can just use the money to ship to the rest of the people that are claiming different states up. And like I said, you can also trade. The other thing behind this project is you don't necessarily get to choose which painting unless you have a strong desire for one that you absolutely feel is calling for you. And then you can message me or email me and take a, a choice of what you want. But pretty much what I'm doing is I'm kind of blindly sending them to the person that I feel really needs them or wants them. And I just kind of take a feeling for it. And if you don't necessarily want that one, what I'm going to work on is creating a chat or a forum on my shantasticshine.com where you can trade the painting with other people who may have got a painting of mine that they don't want as well. That way you have the chance of getting another piece that you saw. Hmm. And so do you want to talk a little bit about why you started painting or why um, you are still painting? Maybe what inspires you to paint? Yeah, um, I actually started painting when I was younger, and I love drawing, but sometimes I can't get the perspectives just the way I want to, and for people who haven't taken a chance to paint because they think they can't draw, painting is a completely different medium, and it's a different feeling. When you put a paintbrush in your hand, it's just, it, it pretty much flows itself, and to be able to play with the different colors and learn how the colors blend together, it really kind of shows you a new a new world around you because then you see how light is affecting what you see in reality. So painting is just pretty much creating a reality on a canvas and I just love creating things. <laughs> yeah. And so as you can see we have the owl painting that you did over here. Do you want to talk a little bit about what inspired this painting here? Um. I really like owls. I, I believe they're one of my, my totems. And spirit animals, they're, they're very wise. And my name actually means little wise one. And when I think of wise, I think of wise old owls. So um, I just kind of put some color into it. I went through a really colorful rainbowy phase where, as you can see, most of those paintings are, are really super colorful. And um, the owl actually was one of, one of the first ones claimed, but it glows in the dark, and so do most of the other ones. So by using the, the brighter colors in the painting, when it glows in the dark, it gives it more of a, a neon-y feel or just like a really good vibration for your eyes and keeps them 
active and interested in what else is happening. Mm. Beautiful. And is that uh, Jerry over to the right there? Yes, that was a Jerry Garcia one, inspired to from an interesting trip to Sunshine Day. <laughs> yeah. So has uh, Jerry Garcia played a, a significant role in your art? Um, I'd say that he he did it in a sense. Um, when I first got introduced to the festival scene, uh, I was strongly influenced by the the Grateful Dead family and the crew and just the whole um, the whole background to it. The, there was a lot of um, like older heads, was what they called themselves, and they really like, had what I wanted in from the festival. They had the stories and um, the love and just the background that was more about finding true peace rather than the party. And when I go to a festival, I really look for like finding more people that are about that lifestyle of the art and the music, not necessarily the party aspect. And um, when you listen to a lot of the Grateful Dead music, it tries to inspire more insightful thinking. And so to me personally, he had a bigger role, but I think it's a bigger role than what he has in most of the quote-unquote Grateful Dead family kids' lives these days, where they're more interested in, in partying. And I just I just hope to see more of our generation get into the art and music. Hmm. Beautiful. And another thing, I, I notice a lot of trees in your painting. Um, what inspires these trees, and what do they, what do they mean to you? Um... Trees was really a way to help me grow. I went through like a painting growth spurt, so to say, where I just wanted to play with as many colors as I could, but have um, kind of a consistent subject, almost make a series. And I was playing with multiple canvases and trying to, to grow um, my different methods. And trees were just something that's obviously been like a staple in most of our lives, because at least I'm surrounded by trees. And just they never have to be the same and they never have to be a certain way because I've seen trees look like almost everything so being able to paint trees it just gives you that free expression to really just let the paintbrush flow where it wants to go and that gave me a lesson in that because I used to try to plan things out too much and get really frustrated when they didn't turn out hmm. why do you um, why do you think we as humans get frustrated when our expectations don't don't turn out. Um, I think it's one of those ego feelings where frustration is just um, almost expected in this reality because um, well, I know I've explained this theory to you so I might as well just go with it. I think that kind of we're sent here in a way that this is almost a version of not necessarily hell but hell-like experiences that we go through to learn the lessons that the higher creator wants us to learn. So when we're down here going through those lessons, it's just a, a common feeling of frustration that the collective consciousness is built because we don't necessarily want to go through these events. We just want to live that peaceful, earthly life that we all are striving for, but we don't realize for a long time, and some of us may never, that we're really here to learn those lessons and be frustrated so that when we do move on to a higher realm that pure joy is fully able to be accepted because we've learned all of the frustrating things here. Hmm. Yes, yes. So this is the uh, Project Bring Me Life podcast. We're here with Shantastic uh, Shine, and she's doing uh, a project she calls Paint the States where she is uh, sending one of her paintings to each state in uh, the United States. And um, yeah, you said eventually you're going to go uh, worldwide? I would love to take it international and be able to get one in every country. Um, I kind of just went with the Paint the States title because it kind of rang, and it was something that I bounced around in my head for a while. So I figured if I could get at least 50 of them out there, then by the end of next year maybe I could go with 50, 50 more countries rather than states. And it's just a project in general that I want to build. If I can do it the first round, then... I was hoping to make it my goal to do 50 paintings maybe a year or every two years, depending on how detailed and how much time I'm going to put into my work, which is never you never know how much effort and energy you're going to put into a painting because everything changes once it starts going on the canvas. 
And um, generally, if I could do 10 rounds of it, I'd feel blessed. And then I could just start pretty much donating my paintings and keeping prints to trade or to, I guess, sell for more materials. But it's a project I'd really like to keep going and grow as much as possible. Hmm. Yep. And so uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about why it was important for each each person in, in one of the each state settings. Um, I know we talked a little bit about it and, and something along the lines of um, each person will have that little fractal of inspiration or, or something like that. Um, do you understand where I'm, I'm coming from? Um, yeah, I, I really think... I don't know, I don't necessarily want to sound power hungry in it, but I think it's a power thing. Like Once you put those little beacons of energy out there, then it's like a spark for someone to talk about it. And I, I just feel so happy and energized. I mean, I think anybody does when they're an artist and someone talks about their work. And um, it just it gives you a smile and then it motivates you to com compliment other artists on their work. So if there's a painting of mine in every state, that's someone's home that it's going to be in. And I feel blessed to know that someone might walk through it one day and be like, hey, that's a really awesome painting. Where'd you get that? And then that person's like, oh, yeah, I got it from this project that Shantastic Shrines started. And then maybe more people will start painting the states, and we'll have a whole revolution of painting the states, and everybody will want to do that. And I generally don't mind if people borrow the idea, because I probably am not the first person to do it. And I think it's just a good idea to get your name out there and everywhere and anywhere. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Um, so we do have time for a few more questions. And uh, the next question that I have for you is, um, I'm not sure if you said it or not, but when did you start painting? Um, I think I've always been painting. I, uh, I used to get in trouble because my grandma would paint all the time, and she would use, um, she'd use a paint called oil paint, and it's kind of a paint that almost feels like it never dries. And she was painting a portrait of, I, I think, a duck or some, some bird, and I just decided I was going to stick my fingers all in it. And before she could stop me, I had it all over the place. And um, there's, uh, a lot of artists might know, like I said, oil paint never dries. So I had sticky oil fingers for days, and my clothes were ruined, and there were spots on the wall. And after that, she just started giving me paper, and I just painted from probably as young as I could. When I really, really started getting into it and wanting to do it as my project in life, it was probably like, junior year, I decided that it was a thing. I, I painted a portrait of John Lennon, and I, I won a couple of awards at a, at a high school art show. What award was it, you said? Um, I think I got... Artist of the Year? Well, actually, I got Most Valuable Artist at, in college, but in the high school, it was just like, um, it was like a fan's choice. All the students got to go around and vote, and I, I got an award for that. I think I got that two years in a row for a different piece. Um, one of them was like a Converse... Uh, it was like Converse Chucks. They were purple Chucks that I wore like every day in high school, so I did an oil painting and I won that too. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> oh. So you you would say that your grandma was definitely the main inspiration? Yeah, my grandma was by far my main inspiration in pretty much all things art. And um, I definitely, I felt like I lost a piece of me when I lost her, so it's been like harder for me to get back into my art. But I think that's another reason I'm really pushing for this paint the states thing because when when I lost her in August, right before my birthday, I decided that I wasn't gonna stop art even though it reminded me of her because it was just an important thing to keep going so I could keep that piece of her going because she put it inside of me. So um by pushing the art and everything, I told her before she passed that I was going to take her on tour. And since I can't take her on tour, I feel like I'm going to take myself on tour and take her with me. And my first step is, like I said, getting one of those beacons of energy out everywhere so that I can start looking for more places to live paint and more contacts and people that are interested. Because once I have a person interested in every state, then I feel like there's really no limitations. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. 